Hi, good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you to Poem Praise 2. And for this afternoon, before we get started, certainly peace and blessings be upon you and your family this afternoon. Now, we are going to get right back into African American poetry. Oh, we're almost through this book, y'all. We have like two poems to go. So let's go ahead and get to the second to last poem. This poem is by Elizabeth Alexander. It's entitled, Apollo. Now for Elizabeth Alexander, it's during a time period of 1962. And here is the picture. See the picture, y'all? There. And over there also. Because this poem is on two pages. Well, some information on one poem side. And then the actual poem on the other side. And it reads as such. Now, Alexander is a professor at Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut. She is also a graduate of Yale, Boston University, and the University of Pennsylvania, where she earned a doctorate, doctorate, excuse me, in literature. An acclaimed writer, she was chosen by President Obama to read one of her poems at his inauguration in 2009. Her poem, Apollo, takes us back to July 20th, 1969, when men landed on the moon for the first time. The U.S. spacecraft Eagle touched down with Apollo 11 astronauts. Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin Jr. eager to watch the event on television. An African-American family traveling by car stops at a roadside restaurant frequent by white customers. For a moment, the drama on the screen seemed to put racial tension in its proper perspective. And Apollo, the poem goes as such. We, we pulled off to a road shack in Massachusetts to watch men walk on the moon. We did the same thing for three, two, one, blast off, and now we watch the same men bounce in and out of craters. I want a Coke and a hamburger. Because the men are walking on the moon, which is now irrefutably not green, not cheese, not a shiny dime floating in a cold blue, the way I thought. The road shack people don't notice. We are a black family, not from there, the way it mostly goes this talking through static bounces in space boots tethered to cords is much stranger stranger ever than we are and that does complete Apollo so I want you to be well, take care, and it be at thy will. I will talk with thee soon, here on Poem Praise 2. So until next time.
Later, y'all.